Today we're in Chelsea and we are going to see four exhibits starting with this one at Lisan Gallery of works by Stanley Whitney. And if you've ever been on my website, the last show that Stanley Whitney had at Lisan is actually my landing page or the backdrop of the first page when you go to it. And if you haven't seen my website, I would encourage you to check it out. Shameless plug. I will leave it linked below. This exhibit is titled 2020, and as you could have guessed, these works are works that he created over the last year in 2020. And Stanley Whitney has explored the dynamics of color for over five decades, and he is known for this signature format of painting, of creating these paintings that have stacked colored shapes. And Whitney is inspired by the American jazz pianist Thelonious Monk and creates a rhythm with the shapes in his paintings that are really similar to that of music. And fun fact, for any of you that are going to the 2022 Venice Biennial, Stanley Whitney will open an exhibition at the Palazzo Tiempolo Passi. I cannot wait to see it. Now we're at David's Warner Gallery to see an exhibit by Neo Rush. And Neo Rush's exhibit at David's Warner contains all of the elements that he is known for, such as rich colors, invented characters, and this otherworldliness. It's almost like you're kind of witnessing a story that you haven't read yet and you want to find out more. And if you're not familiar with Rush, He's a German figurative painter who was born in the 1960s, so he is still alive and creating new works such as these. And he's heavily influenced by Giorgio de Chirico and René Magritte. And the title of this exhibit is The Signpost. And it is in reference to one particular diptyque within the exhibit that's titled after the German word for the discords or the dichotomy. And these works are meant to represent the conflict an artist feels when the artwork and the artist are forced to respond to broader social forces. And Rosh has painted signposts in these works, one in particular that is broken and toppled over, which may represent his inability to know which direction to lean towards, his own intuition as an artist or society's.
Down the Hall is an exhibit by Zimbabwean artist Portia Zvezehara, and the exhibit is titled in English, I Was Made to See the Dark Side. And this makes sense, since the things that inspire Zvezehara are things like life and death, pain and pleasure, isolation and connection, love and loss, as well as traditions of figuration in Zimbabwe. And these works in this exhibit have really evolved since her last exhibit that I saw at David's Werner in London. That was actually her inaugural exhibit with the gallery since they announced her representation. These works contain, in my opinion, more vibrant, rich colors, but she still has her signature intricate designs and patterns. Zveve Hera has a reoccurring dream that she is also capturing in these works, which is why you can spot some animals such as owls. And in her dreams, these animals surround her and comfort her. It's almost like she's manifesting mental protection for herself and seeking solace in her paintings. Now we're at Petzl Gallery to see an exhibit of works created by Maria Lasnik over the eight years that she lived in Paris. And this is significant because it was thought that during that time she developed her signature style that she would become famous for within art history. And this exhibit features 20 rarely seen works. The writer Lauren O'Neill Butler states, Though Maria Lasnig only lived in Paris for eight years, it was in her studio that she began to fully release herself from aesthetic constraints and develop a sense of freedom that became synonymous with her name. There, Lasnig took up the various isms she explored in her previous paintings, realism, expressionism, surrealism, talkism, and transform them into something truly autonomous by simultaneously turning more fully to herself, to her sensations, lived experiences, and a physical embodiment.
So I lied at the beginning of the video. I said we were going to see four exhibits, but I guess you're going to get a bonus exhibit. <laughs> this is our fifth exhibit of the day, and this is where we're going to end it. We are at a second location of David Zwerner to see an exhibit by the powerful female artist Ruth Asawa. And this exhibit is meant to tie together Asawa's famous looped and tied wire sculptures. I'm sure you've seen these before, even if you're not necessarily familiar with her name. This exhibit is meant to tie together these wire sculptures with her lesser known drawings and paintings. And Asawa began making these wire sculptures in the late 1940s with a goal to explore lightness and transparency through form. She did this not only in her sculptures, but also in her drawings. And something that I think is really sweet is the title of this exhibit, which is All is Possible, is a reference to a line in a note that Asawa's husband, Albert Lanier, wrote her once where he said, the life of the artist, scientist, explorer is truly the only life worth living. You give me the courage just the word Ruth gives me an all is possible feeling. I hope you all enjoyed some of these exhibits and hopefully learned something new and I will see you all in my next video. If you haven't subscribed, please think about doing so. It will alert you every time a new video is up on my channel and I will see you at the next gallery.